TV guys. show. Hey folks, we can do one autograph per person. Thank you. And when I don't need to get done. Thank you. What's up, man? I don't, need, I don't need your job. So that's a pleasure. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, he don't mind doing it. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. Can you say hey to everybody on there? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> right, man, I appreciate that. That's cool. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Happy to do it. What's up, everybody? It's Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. What did y'all think about that intro? That, in my perspective, because I'm a NASCAR fan, was epic. So cool of Dale Jr. to do that for us. Um, I was going to get him to mention our channel, but I wasn't going to do that. But that was cool. Anyways, we went down to uh, Dale Jr.'s place today and got him. And uh, uh, his special guest was Joe Gibbs today. So we got him as well. We went to a couple race shops, went to the Lionel store, and I found something good there. And uh, went to uh, the North Carolina Auto Sports Hall of Fame. I just went to the gift shop. I didn't see all the you know, museum part of things, um, but, uh, had a pretty, pretty, pretty good day, uh, I added to, uh, my, uh, Jeff Gordon PC collection and stuff like that, but why I talk about it when I can just show you guys, so we're gonna get into it, uh, wound up actually getting 37 total autographs today, and, uh, just for going to a couple shops and that event, I think it's pretty cool, so, Without further ado, we'll start showing some of the stuff. Um, I went to uh, KBM, which is Kyle, Boom, Kyle Bush Motorsports, and I got this uh, Christian Eckes hero card with a blank back. These are kind of like uh, prototype quick things that they do. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to flash up a photo um, when I get done showing these right here of... Uh, The uh, money uh, briefcase and whatnot that uh, uh, Greg Biffle won at the uh, Texas Motor Speedway when he made his return. And uh, that's Harrison Burton. That's Jeff Burton's son. So I'm going to throw that up here right now. And uh, y'all take a look and uh, see what y'all think of this. So what y'all think of that? that? That was pretty cool. Uh, to, the lady actually, the receptionist, uh, flashed that up. Uh, she uh, she opened it up for us, and uh, we seen the uh, money. It wasn't. It's not real money when you see that on TV in the briefcase. It's actually just like fake prop money. But it's still cool to see. We actually touched the money and stuff, so that I, I, that was really cool. But uh, that was the first shop that we went to. Uh, we actually originally went to Junior Motorsports, but. Uh, that was we're gonna show some of the shop stuff first. So then we also went to uh, DGR uh, Crosley Motorsports, which is uh, David Gill and racing associated with Crosley. And uh, this is uh, David's son, Todd. And I think we actually have this card signed too. Uh, they gave us a signed version. And uh, here's uh, David. He's the uh, team owner. And uh, here's one of the guys that they got running for him in late models. Taylor Gray. Here's Ty Gibbs. This is actually Joe Gibbs' son. Let's see if we've got a picture of him on the back. Yep, there he is. He's uh, Joe Gibbs' uh, uh, grandson. I've seen him actually run at uh, Millbridge before. Really good driver, so he's coming up through the ranks. You know he'll be in a Gibbs ride before long one day. Here's uh, Drew Dollar. Never really seen him uh, run before. There's some can in stuff. So is this. Here's Tanner Gray, up and coming racer. Here's Riley Herbst. Uh, really, really nice looking card. I have not gotten his autograph either. I don't think I might have. Here's Anthony Alfredo. I actually have a, a card of him that I need to get signed, but I've never uh, met him either. So, so, so some of these newer guys we've never uh, seen before. Then here's uh, Tyler Ankrum. So that's a cool one. Then we got Natalie Decker. She's one of the lady drivers coming up through the ranks. I've met her before. Pretty cool card. I want a Deegan 
Haley Deegan hero card. That's one I don't have, and I, I really want one. Uh, there's a Todd Gillen. There's the one. That one's signed, so that's cool. And then we got a uh, David Gillen signed. And we actually uh, chatted with David a few minutes. He uh, showed us around and uh, showed us the uh, shop a little bit. So that was really, really cool to see. So uh, next one, uh, we went over to a place. And I'll show you guys those cards now. We went over to uh, Bobby Donner's place. Uh, which he owns Green Light Racing. He has his hands tied up in it. And we actually met Bobby. Uh, he's we met him right there as soon as we walked in and went into his office. And uh, I got some cards signed by him, and I'll show those after I show these. But we got a uh, Spencer Boyd, a Ray Black Jr., and we got another different Ray Black other than the uh, one that I just showed. Then we got a Joey Gaze, two of them. I must have grabbed two by mistake. So they're the same cards. So that's cool. I'll get that signed up. And then these were already signed, and, and I am happy with that. I got two of them. Uh, maybe we'll give one of these things away sometime. Uh, Gray Golden. Um, signed. Number 08 car. So that's cool. And then... Um, we got uh, one of these uh, uh, promo cards right here uh, with uh, gray on it. Kind of different, I think, than the one that I grabbed because I think mine doesn't have the uh, NASCAR racing experience. So that's really cool. And it talks about uh, uh, on the back, saving up to 55% at the NASCAR racing experience. So... Uh, I have to check that out. I, I won't show that code because I honestly want to uh, check it out myself. So we got that. And then, uh, let's see what we got here. I went to Lionel. Oh, whoa, the Bobby Dodder cards. I forgot about that. Sorry, guys. Uh, we got uh, Bobby Dodder. I think on 10 different cards. So there's that one. That one. Some for my sets that I work, I'm working on. He was really amazed to uh, see the uh, amount of different cards that I got. And he kind of said, you know, I thought I was forgotten. I said, man, ain't nobody forgot you. At least we ain't anyways. Me and my buddy that went down with me. So, really, really cool to get all these signed, man. He shows up at a, a event that we go to around Christmas time, so... I guess I'm not going to have anything to get signed by him then, but that's okay too. Unless I got to carry. So those are the Bobby Dodders. So uh, hats off to Mr. Dodder for signing all 10 for me. Very, very nice of him. And then uh, we went to the Lionel store and uh, the, the new trucks in the Wave, uh, it's the uh, Brett Moffat truck. Is, uh, is, is crazy hard to find. It's just about as bad as that Crafton and uh, Chase Briscoe wind version truck that I uh, that I have. And I got it from the Lionel store. And the manager guy that I usually talk to wasn't down there. So obviously I couldn't sweet talk my way into getting one. And the lady told us the only way that you can get the truck is to buy a case. And I think that was like on upwards to like 60 bucks. Uh, I'm not doing that. That's just crazy just to get the truck and then I'm gonna be stuck with everything else So didn't want to do that But me and my buddy uh, we wound up getting everything we wanted minus the truck and I only really really wanted one other than the chase piece which is uh, the uh, Hertz chase piece for uh, William Byron But I'll show the back and then I'll uh, reveal to you guys the car that I got I'm sure y'all can already uh, tell for you that that know me in my racing now who I collect um, I had actually forgot that he was in this wave so it was really cool to uh, to find it and it was the last one BAM Larson wave 4 fresh out hasn't even been out but like a couple weeks so uh, I gave up hope on even going to uh, uh, the Walmarts and uh, Targets anymore because uh, it's just no use. The distribution is, is terrible right now with these cars, and they're not hitting stores the way they should. 
and uh, so I just basically say let's go to the Lionel store and get what we need and quit wasting our time and gas going around looking for them. So that is a nice sharp car. And I'll uh, have this thing right here signed tomorrow. I'll talk more about that here in a few. Uh, what we're doing tomorrow. And there's that. Then we went over to the uh, North Carolina uh, uh, Hall of Fame for Automobile. And I always like going to the gift shop. And uh, there's a, a nice older lady in there. She lets me look through the cards and stuff. And uh, she charged me like, uh, I think either like 25, 50 cents, something like that. I think it's 25 cents So uh, for uh, some of these uh, cards that I'm about to show you. And some of them are, are, are adding to my PC collection. And I hope that I don't have these. I got my wife to kind of look at them when we FaceTime and stuff like that. So I can make sure that I didn't have them because I have so many Gordons. It's, it's, it's just insane. I'm going to have to make a whole separate video one day just showing them off and... Uh, Maybe some of you guys will enjoy that. But I uh, wound up picking up some stuff. And uh, when you buy something down there, you get like a grab bag at the end with some hero cards in it. And I'll show those too. But uh, I picked uh, this Crisco racing setup. It's 25 cards in it for only a quarter. I mean, get out of here, man. But I already have uh, the set, most of it signed. But there's like one or two cards that I've sent off and I haven't gotten back. Kind of thinking I'm not going to be able to ever see them again so I'm gonna replace them and put them back in there and uh, not definitely not gonna lose these so that there's that 25 cents and like I said all these Gordons right here to add to my PC hopefully and I know some of them I do not have so uh, some of these are really cool you got a dialed in with a raised look that's an insert and you got American Eagle man that thing looks awesome that is so awesome that's a uh, insert. Stars and Stripes, Jeff Gordon. Now I have this card, but I think it's like a, a parallel and it's like real shiny. This was the regular one. Then you got this one. I do apologize. You probably hear my son. He's just cackling out. I think he's getting his bath while this is being filmed. Then we got 20 years of Hendrick, so that's cool. You got a teammate, Jeff and uh, Jimmy. Oh, he's got He's going to get in trouble now. Listen, guys. Y'all hearing the bad side of Gray. So we got a fanatic, Jeff Gordon. Then we got a checklist here, and I liked it because it was it's got uh, Gordon on there. And then uh, Jimmy. And we got this one. I think we are a die cut of this exact same card, so I'm gonna show that together. Yep, we got a die cut and a, uh, a non die cut of uh, the same exact card. So uh, number seven there, number seven there. I don't understand that. But those are cool. Then you got the uh, uh, track pass. I mean, a track side card. This is an insert, I'm betting you. Young Guns. Yep. This is this is really cool. American Muscles die cut. Um, 211. And then uh, you got uh, all the way back to 2000. And then a uh, License to Drive die cut from 2003 insert and then another teammates for Hendrick Gordon and uh, Johnson so that's why I grabbed that so some to add to the PC there and then uh, these are some more that I grabbed uh, the buddy of mine Roger that went with me um, he used to work with this guy Stanton Barrett back in the day so I thought that was really really cool first Stanton Barrett card I'd ever seen made I don't know if they made me any more I'll do some research on that that's really cool to see. And then we got Andy Houston. I see him sometimes off and on. And I've been trying to get up a couple cards so I can get them signed next time I see him. So those are cool. And here's Jimmy Elledge. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely get this thing signed. Uh, he shows up at Millbridge um, and races the uh, Mini Outlaws a lot and uh, runs QRC and stuff like that. So that's cool. Here's that Bob Jenkins card I was looking for uh, that time when I busted open that uh, 91 Max. So there's that. Glad I found it. And then there's a Terry Cook card. I'm fixing to send off to him real soon. So I'm trying to grab a couple of him. And these Kerry Earnhardt's. It's Dale Earnhardt uh, Sr.'s other son. Dale Jr.'s brother. So anytime I see him, I always grab some cards. So nice little inserts. Alright. 
And there's those. And I do apologize. I'm sure y'all he are hearing all of that uh, ruckus that's going on. Now I will not show all of these due to time constraints because I know y'all would get bored. This thing says $25. I walked away paying like I think $10, $10 $12, $13 at the tax, whatnot. But uh, I'll flip through these pretty quick. I got all these with those cards. Lady was really nice. Um, I'll go in depth sometime and uh, show off some of my favorites. But uh, these are really cool. Uh, I had picked out some of them. And she said, well, why don't you just get the whole book? I think the whole set of this is there. And there's an insert. And then uh, some of these extras. What not. And then we got that Max 91. That's where I got the Bob Jenkins out of. And uh, so you guys have seen that set, so I'm not even going to go through it. But that was really cool. And then, last but not least, what all of you are probably waiting on, you've seen that I met Dale Jr. Whoops, we had a problem there. You guys seen I met Dale Jr. I also met his sister today, Kelly Earnhardt. How cool is that? Kelly Earnhardt. And then uh, we got Kelly Earnhardt again here with uh, Dale Jr. And uh, then uh, we got Kelly Earnhardt with Dale Jr. again. So that was nice of her to sign those three cards. And then we'll move on to the next one. And then the next guest uh, that we've seen, well, the special guest for today's podcast show was... Uh, Joe Gibbs, Coach Joe Gibbs. He used to be a Washington Redskins coach. Really, really good coach back in his time. Uh, so it's cool to meet him. I've seen him before, but I never really got to, you know, speak to him like we did for the few minutes that we got with him. So he signed that one. That's for my Max 93 Chrome that I've been working on. And here we added him to this card. With Jimmy Maker already on it. So that's really, really cool. Then we got this one. In a 1993, the history books. He signed that one. And here's the uh, private jet that he rides in. So that is awesome. I asked him and he confirmed it. He said, yep, that's the jet. And there he is. And here he is with uh, Dale Jarrett. I bet you uh, Triple C would like this. It's really cool. If only I had Dale Jarrett to uh, sign it. And there's that Joe Newer card. Here he is talking about team owner. Here he is again in the uh, Washington Redskins. This is a uh, NFL card. Just like the other one there with uh, Dale Jarrett. This is actually a uh, pro set card. So I got him to sign that one. Really, really cool back when he was with the Redskins coaching. And there's that one. That one. That one. Very, very cool. I did not get all these signed at one time. I think the first time go around, I got eight. And he also signed a uh, gospel track thing, and I can't find it. I know I have it, so I didn't throw it away for me. And it's somewhere. Do I would show it, but it's probably in the pile of stuff way over there. And there's that one. That's really cool. So hats off to Joe Gibbs for uh, signing all that. Really, really cool. And I forgot to show some of the uh, grab bag items that I got and that stuff. I got this uh, Buddy Baker uh, kind of promo deal. He never signed them, I guess. He's he's passed away now. Here's a uh, cool uh, like a program deal for Cabarrus County. I liked it because it was uh, showing Sam Bass on it. And then uh, these two uh, older Carl Edwards Euro cards. It's really neat the way they're shaped. Got an Eric Amarola. I don't have this one, so that'll be good to get signed. It's Casey Mears. I'm pretty sure I have that one. Here's an older one. A Mike Chichachi Jr. I do not know how to say his name. I don't even know who he is. It's, it's an ARCA card, but I got two of those. Then I got two of these uh, Ricky Stanton house shaped in the uh, form of Best Buy logo, and they don't even sponsor any race cars anymore. They got out of NASCAR. And here's a, uh, a Ty Dillon Twisted T card. Then uh, an older Ryan Newman. I know I have that thing signed by now, 2017. 
Then here's a uh, Jimmy Johnson. Shout out to uh, Heather. Heather, that's Bobby's daughter over at CC Breaks. I know she's a big Johnson fan. So uh, there's a look at that for you. All right. So those were the uh, grab bag items that I that I got there. And uh, now the real reason why everybody came. I got eight things signed by Dale Jr. Eight things. And for you guys that watch all the way to the end, I'll know. So, uh, really cool to get all these things right here signed. Um, first of all, we'll start with this one. Dale Jr. signed car from uh, 03. So that one's going back a ways. And then uh, here's a Lifetime series that they've done on him. I think I have most of the cards in it, but uh, not signed. So that was really neat to get signed. And then uh, here's another one on that Lifetime series. Got it signed. This one turned out great, man. That right there is like awesome, epic, like one of the best signatures you can get of Earnhardt Jr. So epic. Gosh, man. I could literally stare at that for like for like minutes. How good that looks. Wow. So cool. So, so cool. Alright. And uh, there's the uh, 164s. Now we're going to get on to the uh, 124s that I got signed. I got four of these signed, too. All this stuff come from that yard sale that I went to a couple weeks ago and showed all that stuff. So the uh, first one we got here is an AC Delco automotive parts. And uh, there's the uh, signature. So that turned out good. Then we got another one. And they blurred out the uh, Budweiser and just put Dale, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So there's that one. And then, we've got two inboxed, and I need to polish these things up. Uh, maybe they'll show up good on camera. I think this one turned out the best of the 124 scales. Just the way that autograph pops on this car. I mean, this is the Oreos car back in the Bush series he ran. Like I said, I need to polish up this thing, because this was all dingy anyways when I got it from that guy. I only paid $2 for this car at the yard sale. And now look, got the thing signed. So cool, and then two dollars for this one too. Pay two dollars for the other one. I just have them out of the box. This one didn't turn out the best, but it's still there. You can tell. Uh, this is the uh, Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes car. It's a really, really cool car. Well, I think that just about does it. This has been day one. Tomorrow, we're going to see uh, Kyle Larson. He is going to be unveiling a. Uh, special car, tribute car to uh, some veterans that he's going to be uh, running out uh, at Daytona. So I'll try to film the unveiling and, uh, you know, whatnot, and uh, maybe get uh, Larson to say something to the channel. That would be cool, man. I, that would really, I'd be thumbs up all day long on that. So we'll see what we can do with that. And then, uh, sorry for the long video. I'll try to edit some of it out, what we can. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys uh, on the next one. It's been Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. We'll see you guys later.